Hello there. We are at the Bull Valley Campground. We got a campsite here. The uh, the awnings up. The campsite here. We're in the A Loop, and there's it's right by the river, the Bull River, and there's a trail that goes along this entire campground, Deer Scat, and basically it just goes all the way up to a little pond, and we're gonna do that hike right now. We're not gonna go high in the mountains or anything like that because the weather. It was pouring on us earlier. It was a, a nasty mess. So we're not going to go crazy. This is a nice level. Warm up our legs. Get some exercise. Hike. Battery died on me. But we're going to hike this little four mile hike just along. What's interesting is they have all these campsites right next to the river. But they have this trail right next to the river. So you get to walk by all of these campsites. And some of the camp spots are like right next to the trail. So if you were there, someone's gonna walk right by every now and then. But our spot's pretty good. It's far enough away. Interesting river. It's very big and fast. Kind of shallow near us. So I think people might fish out there. I don't know. This is beaver activity. There's beaver homes everywhere, but we saw back there, we'll show you in a little bit. But here, there is a metal tube going underneath the beaver dam. So the beavers can't dam up this whole area. But it looks like it's only letting in enough that it's still dammed up over there, but it's pretty funny. And they have another metal pipe over here. And they have fencing around it, so nothing clogs up the front. The water looks super clear over here, but we're pretty sure to the left, there's gonna be beaver here and there. There's another beaver dam right there. It's beautiful. Clouds, we can't see Mount Yamanaka or something like that. It's past up there somewhere. We're gonna hike it sometime. It's too tall for us at this time of year. But the water in this lake is just beautiful. It's so clear and it looks bluish. It's blue. We're only a little over 4,000 feet, but the lakes are, they just seem so blue. By the way, that noise you hear is uh, some kind of flicker. We identified it with Merlin. It's a woodpecker of some type. Super clear water. Where are them beavers at? Walk around this lake right now. All the plants are just blooming, so they're little leaves. We're trying to use seek to identify as many as we can, but we're just having trouble because the leaves are still really small. But we think coming up here in the morning would be a really nice chance to spot wildlife just because there's lake here. It's so calm and we just read a sign that the lake sits at six degrees Celsius year long like because of a spring that comes so even in the winter when the Bull River itself that giant river freezes up this lake and the stream stays thawed out it's quite amazing there is a little something moving around in front of me so I backed up I'm gonna wait till Tina catches up with me and we'll walk it together so we can spot it I think it was just a duck but never know mm, nice spot walk We've been using Merlin to identify birds. There's just a ton of different birds. 
everywhere around here just because it's all wet and it's pretty quiet really we haven't seen anybody here so it's pretty exciting it's fun every time you hear a new bird sound I'll pull it up try to identify it this water is so clear so clear it's glary on the camera but just enough up close it's really clear but normally I think we'd have beautiful views here if the wall Water was calm and the clouds are gone, but we haven't seen any um, any big animals. But we've seen, we think maybe a moose or a giant, giant elk print earlier. You see down, Just down, 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 clear. Here's a little viewing point. It's a, on a platform that's out into the water actually with a nice little bench. The trail just goes right across. It's pretty nice. Just such a calm lake. So, I mean, so much chance of seeing animals too. Perfect for moose right here on the left. Shallow flower plants. Where are they? Tina and I just had a wonderful discussion. Tina, what were you saying? Oh, it's always tricky to figure out what's dusk and what's dawn like which one is evening and which one is in the morning so like the donkey bridge is still like the movie from dusk till dawn dusk till dawn yep that's how i think of it too i always get it mixed up and i have to think oh wait dusk till dawn so dusk is in the evening yeah i wonder how many other people do that do you guys all do that or do you just remember offhand like geniuses or something because remembering the difference between two words is very hard <laughs> But yeah, it's weird that we both do that, huh? Thanks for a confession, Tina. Well, I'm not a native speaker, though. Uh, well, I'm not a native speaker either. Then what else is your first language, today? Gaga Gugu. -gu. <laughs> it's my first language. Time for some water. We made it back to our campsite safely. Of course, it wasn't that crazy a hike. But here's our setup right now. I'll make a full video of the awning and everything later, but that's the awning. These are the poles. And what's funny is the company that makes the awning, they sell these poles separately. Not these poles, but they sell poles for them separately. They're like $90 for a pair. But I looked at the pictures on them and they had some kind of friction knot so I looked at different types of knots and I decided on a Blake knot and you basically just loop it over the pole and yank it down and it makes it so the top won't lift away and on the bottom I have a same knot and I just have a stake in there and it makes it so the pole doesn't lift away What's nice then is you don't have this guy line going all the way across for you to trip over or close on yourself with. So it's like nice and clean. And when you put it away, you just put the stick away. There's no line. And it pretty much does its job. The whole thing is rooted down. There's a little git, but it won't lift up too much. Pretty nice. Uh, so I just converted my old poles for that purpose. And here's our table in a view of the river and we're gonna eat dinner now so that will be it thanks for watching everyone hope you all take care have a good night and uh hopefully your hiking season starts up and it's nice and fun but we are gonna eat and head inside it's getting cold and there's a breeze coming so all right thanks for watching bye